Hi everyone, it's Kathy, and I have a new journal to share with you. This is a uh, mini journal, which measures five by five and three quarter inches, and it has 18 pages, not counting the front and back covers. It's a ring bound journal, and um, I like these because you can add pages or subtract pages, whatever you'd like to do with it to. Uh, make it your own. The front cover um, is made out of chipboard and there's some uh, book pages as the background, some lace, uh, corrugated cardboard, a image of uh, one of Tim Holtz paper dolls, some buttons, a book plate, with the word journal and a rusty pin with a bow or a knot of some um, ticking fabric. And then the side on the rings is some lace, more ticking fabric, and there's a charm, little charm a little bit of bling on it. You could add more if you'd like. And then the back cover is just left plain. So let's go and take a peek inside. The inside front cover has some designer paper that was left plain or without any embellishment, so you could add maybe a photo or some um, journaling entry. There is a pocket on the side with a tag. It's been stamped. The next page has a pocket with some ephemera, flash card, and a card about butterflies. Another paper doll. The next page is a doily with a pocket and more ephemera, a little frame, bingo card. And on this page there's a pocket made with some ticking fabric and then some um, die cut, some lace, and then more ephemera or journaling cards. You could journal on those. And the next page has a lace uh, side pocket. And there's a little trifold booklet. Great for journaling on that. And then a piece of some um, vintage lace that's been coffee dyed. And then another pocket with more ephemera. This one is shells. And then an old, looks like it's a, a letter or a receipt. And then the next page is just collage with some um, book page and uh, a ticket, a ticket and a photo of a cute little girl, another ticket, a book plate, and then this is a little um, sack that's been coffee dyed and embellished with some uh, homespun fabric and a stitched a heart that's been stitched. And then inside that sack are some tags. And another one. Ticket. Of course you could put anything in there you'd like. And then on the back of that, it has been stamped. 
And then on this page is a clear pocket with more paper dolls and an altered coin envelope. It's got a little journaling card in there that says handmade. And then another piece of ephemera to journal on. And that just goes in there. And the next page is another pocket that's been embellished with some tickets and some other ephemera. And then in the pocket is a little envelope with a journaling card. And the next page is another pocket that's been stamped on some Os Osnaberg fabric. I always have difficulty saying that. Um, it's like a cotton, but it's a little bit thicker than uh, regular muslin. And then in that pocket is a little mini journal with several pages for journaling. And the next page is a couple of doilies with some ephemera, butterfly, or is that a dragonfly? No, it's a butterfly. And then a flash card, it's been embellished. And then on this page is a glassine envelope with another paper doll and some cheesecloth. And, and some um, flashcards, no, I, I forget what you call these, words, um, these are Spanish, I believe, no, these are Italian, I'm not sure, <laughs> I've had them for a while, so I'm, I'm not sure, and then the next page, there's a metal rim tag that's been stamped and then in the pocket is a cute little envelope with that adorable little girl there and again that photo can be removed and you can put whatever photo you'd like in there and the inside back cover there's some ticking fabric with some vintage buttons and a pocket with more tickets and tags. And there you have it. Here's the back, the side, the binding. Again, it's rings. So you can add or subtract anything you'd like. Um, I just love these little journals. They're so cute and they make great gifts. Um, this one is available for purchase. You can contact me at kathycadeal at yahoo.com and I will give you the details. Thanks again for watching and for all your comments. Don't forget to, um, I know a lot of you look at the video but you don't leave comments. And, it does help when you leave comments. So um, if you want to take a moment after you've watched my videos, please leave a comment. I would appreciate it. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.